What's up, Matt? Twenty Five Gamers. Uh, in this uh, week or years scheme of the week um, series, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like a little bit different format that we had last year. And uh, today we're gonna show you. This is kind of an introduction into the series about what it's gonna be about and uh, talking about kind of how you guys can get involved with it. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions for Scheme of the Week, you can email me. That link will be in the description of the video. It will also be in all of the uh, all of the blog posts and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out. Also, if you guys want to stay up to date with all the stuff that I'm working on real quick, go ahead and follow my blog and uh, madtips365.blogspot.com. A uh, link will be in the description. And then also go ahead and check me out on Twitter uh, at madtips365. And uh, what we're going to do there, I mean, it's just giving you an update and, and kind of getting more involved with what I, you know, my role in the Madden community. So, you know, that's kind of the housekeeping stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you what we're going to be doing in Skin of the Week. So, what I want you to do is I want you to load up your game. And what we're at the home screen here, we're going to hit R1 four times one, or actually, excuse me, three times, one, two, three. Go to Customize. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Coaching Options. And you're going to go to Customize Playbooks. And the reason is because the only way to set your audibles this season is you have to go and make a custom playbook. So, for example, for this week's for this week's um, offense, we're going to create a custom playbook out of the Houston Texans playbook. So we're going to scroll over to find Houston Texans. And then what we're going to do is, oh, if I can find it, there it is. So we're going to create a, a custom offensive playbook out of the Houston Texans playbook. And basically all, this, all that we're going to do is we're just going to set our audibles out of this. Um, this is how. Uh, this is probably the best way to prepare for tournaments because tournaments are probably just going to have you go in and set your custom audibles before you play your game. So here, like for example, we'll shed our shotgun bunch and stuff like that. So we can click on here and we can just replace these audibles with whatever play we want out of that formation, which is kind of nice. And I love that about Madden 25. I just wish that we could set the audibles a little bit easier in terms of in ter instead of having to make a custom playbook. So you go through and you would do all that, and I'll, I'll, I'll I, I give you all the plays that you're going to need in the guide. So you go through, you set all those plays. And uh, eventually, your playbook will look like this. You'll share. I saved it as Texans, and it'll load up. And again, you can set that in your settings to have it default before you go into game. Just go to your game settings, but or you can just scroll over when you choose playbook. And you see, I left all the other formations in, but the formations we're going to focus on this week are the shotgun bunch. You see, I got my audible set there, and then we're going to also focus on the shotgun normal. Um, we're going to focus on the shotgun split flex. Uh, you know, sh take a look at the shotgun tight doubles on, and then uh, a new formation Houston added this year was the shotgun trips tied in. So we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to take a look at that and uh, really, really be able to effectively use that as a three-headed rushing attack. And that's kind of the stuff that we're going to be looking at this week. Uh, scheme of the week, guys. What it is? It's a basic five set for success scheme. So I'm going to give you a zone, be a basic zone beating formation, a basic man beating formation, a basic blitz beating formation, and a formation with. Um, a three-headed rushing attack so we can run to the right or the left. And then I also like to do is give you guys a base play to come out in. So that's what Scheme of the Week is for offense. Now, defense this year is going to be a little different. Um, defense is a little bit different because it's a little simpler. And, again, you could do, you still have to set your quick audibles. So what I like to do is I like to break down a formation week, uh, weekly. So for this week, we broke down the 4-6 formation. So what you do is you load up your whatever playbook you want to make a custom out of that has the 46. And you go in, and okay, so I'm going to go into my 46 normal formation. That's the formation we're breaking down. So if I can find the 46. And, of course, this playbook doesn't have the 46 normal. Let me get out of there. I'm going to go to the 46 playbook. Whoops. So 46 playbook, uh, and it has the 46 normal on it. Uh, and that's the, that's the formation that we broke down this week. Uh, or that we're going to, you know, that we're going to be breaking down this week for you. And so you're going to go to your 46 normal. And you're just going to set the audibles that I gave you. So, for example, in the guide, I gave you 46 normal two man under, 46 normal cover four, uh, 46 normal rush outside, and then the 46 normal um, fire zone three. And all these are nice plays that we like to use. So, base man, base zone, base man blitz, base zone blitz. And then our run defense and our base play are the cover three. So, that's what I really like about the 46 normal is the balance we create with it. And in this week's scheme of the week, you're going to get a good run defense out of the 46 normal. You're going to get good pressure blitzes out of the 46 normal. You're also going to get good coverage defenses to mix in and really going to be able to stop a lot of guys with this. I think in the gameplay, I actually held the dude to either 14 or 21 points. So, really effective there. And then, real quick before we get out of this, I want to go ahead and break down 
the Dallas Cowboys depth chart for you guys in this introduction video for you. And then real quick, if you have any problems with uh, downloading the PDF file or getting access to it, go ahead and email me and I'll just email it to your email and you can download it straight from there. Uh, sometimes the PDFs aren't always the best, most reliable thing uh, in terms of the way the website works and stuff like that. So if you guys have any problems, just let me know because I did have some problems with the, the, uh, my NCAA ebook. So people have to, well, a lot of people have some trouble downloading it. So we got we to gotta fix that out and uh, just email me if you have any trouble with that. But real quick, Dallas Cowboys depth chart. What I like to do is, and Dallas Cowboys was the team of the week, uh, in my opinion. I actually started with Seattle, but I think Dallas actually fits this scheme a little better. So quarterback is going to be Romo. Running back's obviously going to be Mary. There's no fullback in this offense. They're going to be running. And then what we, what we really like is, is the wide receivers on Dallas this year. And uh, I like to run them just the way they are. And then we got Witten tight end, obviously. Now, you, if, if you want, you could substitute James Hanna in. Um, he's 6'4", but just depending on what you want to do. I like Terrence Williams a little bit better. Uh, and then on defense, what we had is we have Anthony Spencer at one defensive end. We have DeMarc Ware at the other defensive end. We have the two defensive tackles, and I like to put Jay Ratliff in the second string D tackle. So these two guys here. And then the linebacker positions, I like to sub left of screen, uh, right of screen, outside linebacker. And my defense is actually going to be Sean Lee. So I'm going to sub him in there. And then I really like, I'm a big fan of putting Ernie Sims at the middle linebacker this year because of his speed and stuff like that and stuff we could do with him. And then I like to have Bruce Carter at the right outside linebacker position. Corners, I like to have Claiborne and Carr. 4-6 normal has a 4-6 speed package, so you could set it up with these two guys if you wanted or add someone down here with good hit power. But this is a really good uh, four guys at, at defensive back. Uh, free safety, what we like to do is we like to put in uh, J.J. Wilcox. This is actually going to be our user defender. So I like to have a guy with good hit power, good decent speed. Uh, J.J. Wilcox is, is probably the best guy overall. Um, you could also back him up with maybe a guy like Orlando Scandrick or something. So you see that we're going to do in there. And then the strong safety for Dallas is going to be Barry Church. He's got great hit power. He's basically a linebacker in the 46 normal, so that's why we like to have it there. So there's your Dallas Cowboys team breakdown and depth chart. And uh, guys, quarterbacks aren't as important as they were last season, so that's why Tony Romo is, is going to be just – he's going to be all you need, and he'll get the job done. He'll be able to throw any routes that you need to throw to get the, to get the plays open. So that's why Dallas Cowboys, in my opinion, are a top four top three team in my opinion and uh, Tony Romo is uh, or Tony Romo will get the job done the defense is really effective the only weakness I can see on this defense is the sh is uh, maybe the secondary but with the way we run the 46 normal we're using the worst player on the team so uh, you know it you know we make our we make our weakest link our strength so anyways guys thanks for checking out this I really appreciate all the guys that you know have, have watched it already and, and can't wait to hear, see all you guys that are going to be watching this and enjoying it this is going to be coming to you weekly every week hopefully on Mondays it may be going out today on Tuesday just because uh, I've been traveling a lot, but if it goes out on Monday, that's awesome, but I'm going to try to keep these on a, a regular schedule basically on Mondays uh, for you guys. So thanks, thank you guys so much in advance for checking this out, and I can't wait to hear you guys' testimonials and see how you guys like this Scheme of the Week series. Uh, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> 